What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the match review, match reaction and match analysis of the Champions League last 16 second leg game between Manchester City and Sporting CP which has finished 0-0 in the Champions League and seen Manchester City progress to the quarterfinals thanks to a 5-0 aggregate win. But before I do crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content want to help to support my channel then do do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 25k subscribers, less than 700 subs away from 23k subscribers, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Also, don't forget as well, my social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me. On my Twitter and Instagram, my email also in the description below too, fun to hit me up for any sponsorships, for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video once more, aiming for 100 likes, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. And also, don't forget, let me know your thoughts in the comments below without further ado though let's crack on with this match review and just isn't that many talking points from this game the first half was a very boring half it saw Man City dominating the ball in terms of opportunities I recall Phil Foden having a shot which was deflected which the keeper made a very strange save trying to like fist it rather than uh, palm it away and it went out for a corner other than that, I don't really recall too much happening. And then in the second half, again, not much happened, if I'm completely honest. Um, in, in terms of opportunities, I mean, the couple of big talking points. The first one, the offside goal for Manchester City. It was well taken from Gabriel Jesus. And it was nice to see Mares coming on in the second half and making an immediate direct run with an immediate impact. Half a yard offside there, Gabriel Jesus. It was unlucky. It was a good, tidy finish. Bit of dodgy keeping to commit away from his near post uh, and made the angle very easy for Jesus to uh, make it 1 0 to Manchester City, which was then chalked off. And I will add that it was a pretty similar angle for Raheem Sterling, uh, last kick of the game, where he managed to turn the defender with a good ball over from James McAtee and then put it into the side netting. Frustrating because it would have been nice to have won this game and have taken a 1 0 because it gives us a clean sheet, it gives us momentum, and it gives us a win going into that big match against Crystal Palace and keeps the winning momentum for City going on that as it is does end here but there's positives to be taken away from this game I thought the young players that were relied upon in this game really stepped up and considering it was 5-0 up um, it, it was nice to see these young players step up and want to take their opportunity uh, and want to put in an impressive performance and each and every single young player that either started or came on for City I was impressed with uh, from this game I thought uh, first half uh, um, Phil Foden, he was brilliant for Manchester City uh, in the uh, in the first half. He was pivoting really well uh, and looked like a very senior, very experienced player. Uh, and then going into the second half, we had young James McAtee come on, uh, who looked like he was holding his own really well, in my opinion. And so he looked very comfortable uh, for Manchester City. I thought Mbete, when he came on, albeit it was only five, six minutes, he came on, looked very comfortable for City and gives a little bit of a rest there for a Merrick Laporte. I would have brought Mbete and Betty on at half time but there we go but I think the, the biggest call two big calls were made in this game and I think the first one Egan Riley starting at right back um, is not one of them City young players that's uh, bordering on the first team squad he is an EDS player he's been called on to come into this game to start this game He's helped Manchester City to get a clean sheet. His passing, his distribution, his ball control was second to none. He was brilliant for Manchester City. Absolutely sensational. He got my JSGC man of the match. And I've not done that because I'm biased, because he's a young player to help boost his confidence. I've given him that because we didn't have Cancelo. He's ill. We didn't have Kyle Walker. He suspended and he stepped up to the plate and made that position his own. You could not tell that Egan Riley was a young player inexperienced at City in that first team squad. He was brilliant. And I'm excited to see more of Egan Riley. The one thing I want from this game, the legacy of this game, is I want Egan Riley around the Manchester City first team squad because he looks so, so good for us and I want to see more of him. Like I said it was nice to see McAtee get some minutes for City, it was nice to see Mbete get some minutes for Manchester City but 
let's speak about that second big call that was made in this game and um, really nice, one of the biggest cheers of the night. So Edison come off and Scott Carson for 20 minutes come on for Manchester City and kept a clean sheet for City making his Champions League debut. What a moment there for Scott Carson, delighted for him and he actually made a very impressive, very important save from Paulinho to stop uh, the uh, to stop Sporting from scoring and ruining Manchester City's clean sheet and so I thought defensively here for Manchester City for this game we looked very good so I think each and every defender that started for City can keep their heads held high for this uh, for this performance uh, and I think all of our defenders have put themselves in good stead for potentially starting not only against Crystal Palace on Monday night away from home in the Premier League but also potentially for the Champions League quarter-final as well which ultimately our goal today was to ensure that we made it to the Champions League quarter-finals and we've done that we've got a clean sheet we've seen some youngsters play I was impressed with what I saw and so a big thumbs up the only thing that we didn't have was a goal and a win and maybe we should have had that that's something that we can improve on going forward to Monday night and that game against Crystal Palace that's the big game uh, but for City now we join Liverpool we join Bayern Munich and we also join Real Madrid into the draw of the Champions League quarterfinals after Real Madrid managed to turn it round and knock out Paris Saint-Germain the other team that was in our group there out so Messi and Bappe Neymar gone they're eliminated from the competition we can draw Liverpool Bayern or Real Madrid potentially in the next round uh, and we can put our feet up and enjoy next Tuesday and next Wednesday uh, with all the pressure onto the other teams and have a potential squ uh, scout of uh, one of our oppositions for the quarterfinals maybe for the semi-final maybe even for the final as well the draw is next Friday, uh, which will be taking place not only for the quarterfinals, but also the semi-finals as well. It's the last Champions League draw to take place of the season. That's the big one, so stay tuned next Friday. I'll have all my reactions and thoughts out for you guys for that in a video next Friday for you guys to look forward to. So there we go. They're my thoughts from this game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. 100 likes, that's the aim, so any help towards that would be much appreciated. Subscribe as well if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell, and put your push notifications on. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And I'll see you all again very soon for the next Manchester City video. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Job done. Quarterfinals. Here we come. Peace. Ciao for now.